is this too much orange? I feel, I feel seasonal, but I feel a little bit bright. Like the saturation just looks a bit, I don't know. I think it's the coloring of the twice poster that's throwing me off. <laughs> My bag, or should I say that's back to my It is a new tumor, a new season. So today we're going to be learning about autumn, its months, and the Celtic and Bay holidays celebrated at this time of year. Let's get going. I'm going to have, firstly, let's learn the word for autumn, or for those of you across the pond, fall. Er hudrev. Er hudrev. The er is kind of optional, you can just say hadrev, but particularly for autumn, it is useful to make a distinction with a, another word that we will learn in a second. So hadrev is formed of two words that we get from Middle Welsh. Hud or hev, depending on your dialect or pronunciation, means stag. Even in modern Cymraeg, hud and the plural hudod means stag or deer, though you may be more familiar with another word for deer, caru, caru. And the second part of hadrev is Brev, which means call or cry. I guess another way you could translate it is like a bleat kind of sound. So altogether, hudrev means the call of the stag and refers to stags rutting, which happens at this time of year. As with every season, there are obviously three months. Now months usually, but not always, have mis in front of them. Mis means month. You'll more commonly see this with written or more formal Cymraeg, but it's often omitted when speaking. The first month is obviously September, mis medi, Mis medi, or just medi. And the word medi comes to us from the Proto Celtic meaning to reap or to mow, which makes sense. This time of year is common for harvests. The next month is October. Mis hadrev. Hadrev. Yes, autumn and October share a name. That's why it's important to make a distinction between a hadrev and mis hadrev. And as we know, hadrev means the call of the stag. And the final month is November. Mis tachwev. 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 This word comes to us from the Middle Welsh again, tachwet, and it literally means slaughtering. Tachwet refers to the time of year when animals are killed for the winter. Now for my favourite part, let's talk about this season's celebrations. First is the autumnal equinox celebrated on September 23rd, and that's most commonly called Alban Elved. Alban Elved. Alban Elved. Alban, if you've been paying attention in previous videos, as we know, means quarter year or solstice. Again, not to be confused with Ur Alban, which is the name for Scotland. And Elved means autumn solstice. Another name for this equinox is Alban Haved. 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 And Haved refers to the reaping. So this is the solstice at the time of the reaping or the harvest. And the final way you can refer to the autumnal equinox is Kinhidnos or Hadrev. Kinhidnos or Hadrev. Kinhidnos or Hadrev. Kin means before. Had or Hid means long, duration, length. Nos means night, and as we know, Hadrev means autumn or the call of the stag. So if you smush it all together, Kinhid Nos Hadrev is the long night of autumn or before the long night of the rutting. For many, this is a feast celebration. It's the second of three yearly harvests. As we learnt in the last season's video, the first harvest is on Kalan Aus, the 1st of August. So this particular harvest is the time to harvest the remaining fruit and other plants that have ripened under the summer sun. During this celebration, rituals will take place to thank the gods and spirits for the harvest, and it can also be a time of rest once the harvest is done. Some neo-pagans also call this celebration Mabon, but they pronounced it as Mabon for some reason. Mabon is the name that you will find with those who celebrate the Celtic Wheel of the Year with those eight celebrations. The name Mabon only actually appeared in the 70s. It's a valid name, this is not a call out, but Mabon means divine son. Mabon ap Modron is the divine son of the divine mother. He is a deified figure in Cymru but has nothing to do with the harvest or the autumnal equinox. Call it Mabon if you want, just please pronounce Mabon correctly. That's my one ick with the Mabon celebration. Akanolav, lastly, the next celebration is kind of a two in one. We have Nos Galangeav, Nos Galangeav, or as it's more commonly known globally, all Hallows' Eve, Halloween, celebrated on the 31st of October. Nos, as we know, means night. Galan is a mutated form of Kalan, and Kalan means the first day of the month, and Geav means winter. We'll learn more about Geav's meaning in the next season's video. So altogether, Nos Galan Geav is the night before the first day of winter. This is an Asprid Nos. Asprid Nos literally means spirit night. 
when the veil is thinner between our world and a noon or a northern, the other world. And many will use this night to set out food and other offerings to the ancestors, past relatives, people you knew or people you didn't from your family and do some meditation. And it's not just this night, but for many days, sometimes a few weeks either side, people will set up ancestral altars with again food, other offerings, photos of loved ones who've passed on, photos of relatives that you may not have even met. And we spend this period acknowledging them, their lives, who we are for having known them, and just reflecting on the influence that they've had on us and our families in general. On Nos Galangao, people will avoid cemeteries, crematoriums, and even styles between fields and things, because we believe these are places where the spirits are known to congregate, and we kind of just don't want to interfere with them. Like, just let them do their thing at this time of year. Let them catch up together and just enjoy the mortal realm. <laughs> and the other part of this two-in-one of Nos Galangayav is Kalangayav, the first day of winter, November 1st. And the celebrations and observations are pretty much the same for Kalangayav. Sometimes people will divvy up, you know, what rituals they do. Some will have the feast the night before on Nos Galangayav. Some people will have the feast like noon time, maybe even the night of Kalangayav. It really is just like whatever is personal to your practice or whatever is feasible, you know, with your schedule. Some people will do all of their rituals and the feast the night before and then just spend Kalangayav just sat near their ancestral altar just enjoying the presence of the family before the veil gets thicker. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> and there we have it, that is Tamoru Hadrev, the season of autumn, Nisoizar Hadrev, the months of autumn, and the celebrations. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching. Check out my videos on spring and summer if you haven't already seen them. I'll leave all my social media links down below so you can go check those out and give me a cheeky follow if you want. Also subscribe here for more Cambraig stuff. I also have a Patreon where I teach Cambraig a little bit more in depth. We also go over Cambraig's history, historical events, influential figures, folklore and mythology. It's a real good time. You should come join. Kimbo here. Bye!